Today in front of me I have Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite and in this video we would like to demonstrate you can set up, configure and use the parental controls on this device. First and foremost you have to open settings then enter the Google category. In here if there are any accounts currently associated with your tablet you have to unlink them by tapping over here, going for the manage accounts on this device then open the account page and tap on the remove account button. Once all accounts have been successfully deleted, unlinked, whatever, we can start the parental control setup. So let's enter the same Google category. In here, tap on the parental controls, get started, child or teen. Next, we will wait for a little bit. And next, once again. I mean, kind of uh, lagged, but let's just redo the thing since this tablet is, uh, well, to be smooth as on the lower performance end. And here, tap on the add or create account for your child option. And, well, respectively, either sign into the account that you have prepared or create a new one if you do not have the Google account for a child. In my case, I do have it, so I'll enter the email for it. Then password, which I will obviously do off the screen. Then tap on the blue I agree button. After that, scroll the page down a little, then tap on accept option. Then choose the account that we have just added from the list. Then enter the credentials for the Google account that will be used for supervising, thus the parents account. So I'll enter the email, then the password for it off the screen obviously as well. In here you can learn more about supervision. Scroll the page all the way down and in order to confirm the linking procedure of both parents and child's accounts, Google accounts, enter the password to the child's Google account once again. Then tap on the blue agree button, choose the allow option from the following dialog window that will pop uh, right up. Wait until those two Google accounts will be successfully linked. Then click on next. In here you can manage the uh, applications that you don't want your child to use or respectively want for the child to have access to if they are turned off. But you will be able to do that later, so uh, in, a, in the sake of completing this setup earlier and quicker, I'll just skip the step. The same pretty much applies for the next page that will be related to the content restrictions and filters. In here, uh, if the device that is written in a bold font is the one that you'll use for configuring or for supervising the child, you can just tap on the blue install family link button or tap on the skip option, finalize the installation and uh, well, manually download the family link from Google Play. In my case, this device is the one that I'm going to use, so I'll tap on the blue install family link button and as you can see, the family link app download process has been successfully started. So now we will wait for it to finish. And basically that means that all the uh, well, configurations on the child's end have been, successfully, have been successfully finished. Now we'll take the parent's device, wait for the Google Family Link to get downloaded. And once it does, you can go ahead and open the app. Then make sure to choose the account that you have pointed out earlier as the parent's account. And in here, uh, here we have our Lenovo tablet, or not Lenovo, the Google one is that we're looking for. It should be somewhere over here. Here it is. So uh, from here, you can set some daily limits, downtime routine, configure app limits and manage the app. Uh, well, I mean, not manage, but monitor the app activity, apply content restrictions, configure account settings and manage the devices if you want to. 
Alrighty, so that would be it as far as setting up the parental controls on this device go. We highly appreciate your attention, thanks for watching and bye bye.